Today for you guys, we got a good one. We went all in on workhorse stock. So today we're going to be talking about why I recently just bought a ton of workhorse stock. We're also going to be talking about the USPS contract, why I decided to buy now. We are also going to hit a few of the negatives on this stock as well. So we're going to be talking about multiple things. Should be a good one. If you like the content, please think about liking and subscribing. Let's see why we went all in on workhorse stock. So I'm sure you know the business model. If you clicked on this video, you probably know what Workhorse is, but really quickly, the business model is they make electric delivery vehicles, which is a very large space, and there's a lot of market you know, money in that area. So a lot of money to be made. The market cap on this company currently is $2.65 billion, and the big home run and the biggest deal that's going to be happening right now is this U.S. Postal Service contract that they're going to be having, and this is going to be worth $6.3 billion dollars that they could potentially get most of all of some of none of so this is kind of still up in the air but i'm going to tell you some reasons why i feel like they're going to get a good chunk of this thing this just recently got pushed out to the end of the year so the stock price fell because it got pushed to the end of the year but with that happening it had a really big downturn and that is one of the reasons why i decided to buy because i feel like people kind of overreacted to the fact that the news isn't going to come out till the end of the year when it was thought that it might come out this month october time so let's dive into a little bit of the reasons i didn't like the stock before my two big concerns with this one so production so Workhorse doesn't have a huge history of making tons and tons of vehicles. This contract is going to be for upwards of 200,000 USPS vehicles. So I was worried they're not going to be able to make as much and they still haven't proven that they can make a significant amount of vehicles. But I do believe their partnership with Lordstown Motors should be pretty good because when GM owned this company, they were able to pump out 400,000 Chevy Cruises and this was the peak of how much they were able to make. But we know now that Lordstown has the capacity to be able to crank out these vehicles, which is great. And when they're partnering up with Workhorse, it should be a really ideal situation to make tons of vehicles quite quickly. So that is good. Cash, I was also worried about cash, but they just secured 200 million right now in new debt for the EV delivery. So they're really committing all of their resources to this contract. And I do believe, we'll go into the reasons right here in a minute, that they will get a good chunk of this contract. So let's dive into some reasons why we think they're going to get it for sure. Here are a few of the reasons I feel fairly certain that they're going to get a decent chunk of this contract. So if we look at the vehicles that they've had before, these vehicles have lasted them 25 to 35 years in their fleet. That's the fleet they're replacing right now. The 200,000 vehicles that they're replacing are roughly this age range. I believe internal combustion engines are going to be out. Oh, yo, T. I believe they're going to be out. I think the wave of the future is going to be EV. I feel like we're all thinking we're kind of heading that way. And if we want these to last another 25 to 35 years, I think we should get ahead of the curve and probably have electronic vehicles. So I'm thinking that could be a reason why they would possibly go with Workhorse here. Ford and Oshkosh is the main other competition that they're facing right now. And don't get me wrong, I think they will get some of this contract, mainly due to the fact that internal combustion engines work well in the cold. And I've read or seen that some Tesla engines in the extreme cold have some issues with their battery being about 60% efficient or however much less efficient with the extreme cold. And this being a contract for the whole United States, I'm thinking they're gonna have to do some internal combustion engines. So I do believe Ford and Oshkosh will get some of it, but I believe Workhorse will get most of it. EVs, electric vehicles for the long term, should save a significant amount of money for the buyer just based on fuel savings and oil costs. So the amount of money it costs energy wise is much less than fuel wise so that's really really nice the government also just issued and this one went down a ton because it was also announced that the uh, contract announcement was going to get pushed back that the c1000 which is a different vehicle is zero emissions so i think that could be really really important that possibly the vehicles they're developing right now could be zero emissions as well and that's going to be a big push from the government okay choose this one for the united states postal service so i think that could be big plus there's going to be additional credits and vouchers at least for the c1000 so i can imagine that could still be the case for their delivery vehicles so the question remains why did i buy right now so these are a couple of the cliff notes here i think electric vehicles are going to be the future i even think five years from now i don't think people are going to be buying internal combustion engines 
I just think we're kind of flipping the page in society and that's kind of where we are heading. We have a finite resource, we gotta kind of move to something else. So I think that's how that's gonna go. I do believe their capability to make 200,000 trucks is possible because we've seen that they've made 400,000 vehicles at that facility before. So I do believe they could easily, maybe not easily, but I do believe they could make that amount of trucks if need be. But I don't think they're going to get the full contract. So I think it's gonna be more like maybe 150,000 trucks or maybe 100,000 trucks, which will be very, very much in the realm of possibility here. The USPS contract, which is worth, again, 6.3 billion, I think they're going to get a good chunk, at least half, I would think. And if they even got half, that's gonna make up for that value because they're gonna have a crazy, crazy revenue of $3 billion. So I think that's gonna make the value of this company, the market cap, make more sense. And I think it's going to just explode upwards. The shelf life on these vehicles is 25 to 35 years. So when you rack up all these fuel costs, you think it wouldn't even make sense to buy anything that is not electric just because the fuel costs over the course of 25, 35 years for these giant trucks must be absolutely bananas. So I would think that would be another pushing factor towards choosing the EVs. My max position, me going all in on anything, is generally 10%. But on this one, I'm feeling really, really confident that they're going to be getting this contract so I dived in at 15%, which is a good chunk of the money that I have. So going all in, buying 15% worth of workhorse stock here, I feel very, very confident they're going to do well and hopefully get a good chunk of these USPS contract. I like that it's down a little bit right now because everybody's bummed out that they're announcing it at the end of the year. I was happy about that because I finally got a chance to scoop some up. So if you like the content, I'm going to be following this one closely. Now that it's a big position of mine, please like and sub. And hopefully we're all going to make some money off this one. Bye.